You grew up in India and Africa. You spent time in Nigeria, and then you eventually moved to the United States to get your MBA as an adult. How did that nomadic history shape your thinking about what you wanted to pursue? Well, I think it made me into the person that I am. And growing up, that was,、uh, you know, I thought it was many times traumatic to to keep moving and have to make new friends and figure out a lot of things on your own. Um, but as often in life, you learn that some of the things that are painful as you go through are the ones that make you who you are and eventually、uh, really help you.、Uh, and 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 for me, having grown up in so many different cultures, and I've kind of learned that if you choose to, you can belong anywhere, and 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 there's no. I have this concept that we, at some point, all of us were born from probably the same parents, right? When you ask you ask anyone, hey,、um, who are your closest rel- relatives? They'll probably name their family, their then their parents and grandparents and grand grandparents. And if you go all the way back, we're probably one giant family.、Um, and being able to live and relate to so many cultures, I think, is a, the biggest blessing I've I've gotten growing up. Growing up and prior to starting your own companies, what kind of experience did you have with customer service? What did you think of it? And I, I just wonder how it shaped what you've done with it later on. It, it comes not from customer service. I, I don't think into about all of this is you know starting a company or becoming an entrepreneur or building a business. I think of these as solving problems that you see. Almost anything you look at、um, can be made better. And almost always, you can find out how you can make it better if you wipe the slate clean in your brain and you just think about、um, a concept that that I call future backwards.、I'm、sure, others use this phrase as well, but it is to just reimagine what things ought to be or could be in the future, and then say, look, if if we're all going to fly around, and we should be able to fly around in thirty. Years in your own private flying machines. Then, what should you be doing now? What should you be doing five years from now?、Um, the same thing with with service or expedient. For me, the fundamental notion is human beings are born once and they die once. And and I try to rationalize everything into this concept that the ultimate responsibility that each one has is to really understand that.、It, There's a finite journey, and the journey is all you have. So this notion of trying to make yourself happier almost drives everything I do.、Um, and you have a responsibility to do that to yourself. You have a responsibility to do that to others to try to make others happier when they come into contact with you.